What is going on everybody, welcome back to EU4 as France, we are two years away from the finishing of this series, of course we started in the Victorian era start date of the extended timeline mod, we've had a very interesting game, I think we were never at risk of like being destroyed, which was nice, but you know, we didn't maybe have, have as much success as I would have liked, mainly because Austria and Russia went crazy, um, this is the defensive war where we need to help our ally. Brazil is allied with Chile, Peru, Prussia, and Austria. Sh no. Sorry, Netherlands. I feel really bad, but I am not going to war with Prussia and Austria at the same time. It may not even happen, but... Go away. I mean, it's just Prussia right now, and the Dutch should win that, but I'm not... That, that might be... Oh my goodness. That might be a bit of an issue, but... Yeah, I mean, they should be fine here. I mean, Austria is occupied for now. At 99 war score, so I can't guarantee them it's for that long. But yeah, I don't know what the date specific. Oh, there is some separatists making things a bit of an issue. Russia, this I this you just gonna. I just want to see a peace deal here at this point. I don't really care about the rest of it. Come on. If Russia was smart, they would separate peace for like all of this, <laughs> and then Austria would just be forced to take whatever else they could get. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, sorry Netherlands, you've made a good start though. You only have a nine stack, which is worrying. Because Prussia have a much bigger stack than that. But we'll see how things go. Where, ooh. Okay, no. Wait, is this stack... Okay, this stack has grown a lot. <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't that big before. How on earth did Makassar get into Spain? More important... Oh, there's Spain's units. But is that it? Is that all you have, Spain? Foreign spy detection minus 25%. Nice. See how this, see how the rest of this pans out. August 1934. Still no peace deal. I'm ex that's what I'm excited for at this point. There's some other big wars. Portugal v. Qing. The US and Mexico are in there as well. That'll be interesting to keep an eye on. Currently naught war score for the Netherlands, so I'll keep an eye on that. Do you imagine if Makassar just like took everything from Spain? That would be hilarious. Highly unlikely, but it would be funny. But here we go, the Ottomans doing pretty well so far to still be alive. I'm really not sure what the holdup is. I just really want to see this peace deal. I think the game knows it as well. Oh, we have another 4,000 ducats. I'll spend those on more coal factories to make sure that um, France, make sure we pollute the world the most, you know. That's what being a Western European in 1934 is all about. 19. World War Two should be a pro. We avoided World War One, kind of. <laughs> we didn't have a massive conflict. That one with the Netherlands was pretty big, even though I didn't mean to start it. <laughs> that was pretty big. In the grand scheme of things, Great Britain declared war on Persia. Well, that was any chance of being saved by the Persians. You had Ottomans, which were very slim. Are gone. Oh my goodness! Come on, just make a peace deal. You can't still be at war. Let's see if the U.S. are making. Any progress? Uh, they're still pretty slow. I don't know if the tribes have caught up for tech. Nope, they're 40 behind, but Mexico's obviously doing just fine. I think Mexico's still pretty high. I mean, they are 8th on the Great Powers list. The US in 2nd behind Britain. Russia a 3rd. Austria 4th. I'm in 5th, so I'm happy with that. I wouldn't expect to be above any of the big 3 from the start. Russia, US, UK. Qing I'm surprised I'm ahead of, but that they fluctuate a lot based on whether they've um, embraced the institution, I think it is. Although, yeah, they're behind us. But if they embrace this, they'd be miles ahead, I imagine. And obviously, I mean, Austria's grown pretty big. I, I don't mind if they're ahead of me. Okay, the Dutch are screwed. I'm sorry, Holland. Not my fault. Probably not my fault. 1935, we approach the end. 1st of January 1936 is what we're looking for. Punjab has now declared war on Persia. Ripperoni. We should be back with the new series pretty much, at, you know, in the next time this video would have been up. The next video episode of this series should have come up. It will be just an episode of a new series. I think it will be in the regular start date, and I think it will be Aragon, unless I change my mind before tomorrow when I should start recording that series. Should be as... Aragon, maybe? I don't know. Or it might might be Venice. It's, again, 
I'm, I'm deciding still. I'm gonna try and have a better game as Venice. Come on, peace out. Come on. What is this war for? It's imperialist. Like, you have 99 war score. You don't need this. You don't need all of it, okay? We will see. Those separatists never rose, rose up. One of the groups disappeared, and the Catalonian ones have gone from 80% to 20%. So I have a free merchant. I have no idea what to do with you. Um, Joseph Quinn. Collect from trade. Where can I transfer? Caribbean. Transfer trade pack. Yeah, why not go over there? It's probably not the ideal node, but I mean, it's better than doing nothing for the next two, four months. Oh, it, oh, we missed July. Oh, that would have been cool if we could have found the day we're on now, but never mind. Come on, peace out. Britain is literally going to take all of Persia before we get a peace deal there. Who is, is that Portugal in mi the middle of China? Yes, it is. Japan finally unified everything, so that's good for them. As you can see, the game does not like me looking around. Oh my goodness, look at Australia. That is disgusting. Oh my goodness, America destroyed Portuguese Africa. I was not aware that had happened, but obviously I probably just ignored it. But yeah, oh my goodness. That's why America are nearly overtaking the UK. They're a bit of a... Oh, there we go. Austria taking Western Turkey. Russia taking big chunks out from the north. And the Ottomans looking pretty weak right now. Holy moly, though. Austria and Russia... Moving closer, I imagine. Actually, no, there's no way. Development. Look at the US and Great Britain. They're both twice as much. Britain have done pretty much nothing except defend, except kill off Indian uprisings this whole series, which is impressive, but fair play. That's obviously not what we're very good at in real life. Or, oh, Ottoman's no longer a valid rival for anybody. They are tiny right now. Egypt will probably pick them off pretty soon, I imagine, once their truce is over. Too few rivals. I've got Britain, Prussia, and I'm going to have Tuscany, just because they were mean to me at one point. I mean, that is a scar still across our lovely empire, this bit of land that Tuscany have. Two more months to go. Let's, oh, Russia, finally come back for that second world marriage. It's nice of them. Joachim needs a wife. How old is Joachim? 48. Charles is 22. Okay, cool. Jean de Rohan, that is a weird name, pretty cool though, 20, 40, oh, oh they're perfect for each other, the same age, there you go, written in the stars, both big names begin with J, got another Von Habsburg, waiting for us, well the Dutch are going to have a terrible peace deal here, I just realised they are, oh, oh, I missed it, ah, oh. which does mean I get to get one more tech level, nice uh, it's the 2nd of january 1936 dutch rest in pieces because prussia have taken all your valuable land i imagine it's 99 war score right now uh no 29 okay whatever apparently the dutch east indies are worth something or west indy east indies yes east indies are worth something anyway let's leave this series like i said i'll be back with something new in the regular timeline as scheduled pretty soon um, but yeah, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you've enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.